$1,000 polka dot. I know that sounds crazy right now, but just for starters, let me remind you of the price of Ethereum last year. In 2020, and of course, it was part of the crash from the pandemic, we saw Ethereum as low as around $100. Now, at that time, if I had asked you, could it reach $4,000, you would have said, I'm crazy. No way. Especially within a year's time frame. So not only did we see it reach $4,000, we saw Ethereum go on to be as high as $4,500 this year. That's a 45X. So I say that it's a setup so that you understand how quickly these things can move. We saw Bitcoin go on a crazy run as well, and pretty much all of the cryptocurrency world. So now that that's out of the way, and you at least have the vision for what these cryptocurrencies can do, let's talk about that $1,000 polka dot. And in today's video, I'm going to give you seven reasons, not only why polka dot can reach $1,000, but seven reasons why it will reach $1,000. And it's very simple. Number one, Gavin Wood. He helped write the code for Ethereum. So the reason he left, he had his own vision that he thought Ethereum was not meeting. So he goes on, he creates Polkadot. But I think it's important to lay the groundwork that he was one of the original people involved in Ethereum, so you look how far Ethereum's come, and as you can see, with the scalability being one of those issues, Gavin Wood has a different way of doing it. So, he's been in the game for a long time, he took that experience, moved over and started his own thing, and gave us Polkadot. So that is the first reason. Now, second, interoperability. I want you to think about this. Think about a TV. Name the brand, it doesn't really matter. But let's just say a certain brand says, you know what, you're not going to be able to watch Netflix on this TV. Think about what that does to the sales of the TV. Think about how many people won't buy it or won't use it because of the fact that they can't get access to Netflix. See, it's no different in the blockchain world. An interoperability which really, when it comes down to it, Polkadot is basically the number one crypto in terms of that, and they always focus on that. So what that means is they're trying to work with other blockchains so it doesn't close people out. So the beauty of that is they're finding a way to work cross-functionally across the whole crypto space, and ultimately that is going to propel them into the future because they're not closing off their opportunities by saying, if you're going to use Polkadot, it's only going to be Polkadot and no other ecosystem. They are working to combine ecosystems, which is going to make them highly valuable. And I can tell you right now, for cryptocurrencies that don't do that, they're not going to survive. The same way you would not buy that TV, you're not going to use those blockchains. Number three, Scalability. This is everybody's gripe with ETH, right? It doesn't scale. That's what the hype around ETH 2.0 is. Obviously, one of the reasons why Gavin Wood left Ethereum. He had a different way of doing it. And I'll explain that with one of my reasons later on in the video. But when it comes to scalability, look, a big thing in crypto is transactions per second. And just to give you an idea, Visa runs north of 1,700 transactions per second. Now, the way they got that figure was, you look at the 150 million transactions per day that Visa does. Then we take a look at Bitcoin, which can do up to about seven transactions per second. And then we take a look at Ethereum, which can do up to roughly about 24 to 25 transactions per second. But remember, just because it can do that, it doesn't mean that that's always where it's at. That is not the average. It means that it is capable of that. But can it do it and sustain it? It's not sustaining those levels continuously. Now let's take a look at Polkadot. 
and we have a thousand transactions per second. While it's not at the level of Visa, look at the comparison between it and Bitcoin and Ethereum. It's not even close. Number four, Kusama. Kusama is the little brother to Polkadot. It is a fully functioning blockchain. So while people call it the test net of Polkadot, it is a fully functioning blockchain. And the beauty of that is a lot of times, just like with ETH 2.0, you're wondering and waiting around to see if it's going to work. The difference between this with Polkadot is Polkadot has taken Kusama, put it into place, and it's a functioning blockchain that tests out things. So we already know if it's worked on Kusama that it's going to work on Polkadot. So with all these fears that we see of E2.0, we don't know if it's going to work out as planned. With Polkadot, anything we're looking for into the future we will have the answer because it will have first taken place on Kusama. And speaking of that, we have our fifth reason, which happened to take place already on Kusama. And that fifth reason is parachains. Polkadot parachains are soon to happen. And we've already seen that on Kusama. And just to explain how Polkadot works differently, Polkadot has these side chains that are blockchains. Now imagine you had a business where all the departments were in one room. So you had marketing. You had the supply chain management function in there. You had upper level management. You had supervisors. And you had finance. You had everyone in the same room. Think about how much of a cluster it would be. Now think about how that changes when we add rooms or add buildings or locations for those different functions. When it comes to Polkadot, you'll have side chains that function alongside and run parallel to the main chain, which is Polkadot. That is another reason why it's able to scale. And when it comes to parachains, you've got all these chains that are going to be in an auction to be the first parachains on Polkadot. And we saw this with Kusama. And just for an example, to let you see how much of an opportunity this was, one specific one that did extremely well was Moon River. So Kusama had its parachain auction. What happens is you lock up Kusama. And for locking up that Kusama, which you do get back after an allotted amount of time, so you actually get your original investment back. And for that, they give you these Moon River tokens. That just happened not that long ago. And the all-time high price for Moon River token was $495 per token. So say you got 100 of those. 100 tokens at $495. And you get your Kusama back. Well, it was a success. And now it's time for Polkadot to follow suit now that the test blockchain Kusama has done it. So the reason that's a big deal, because people are going to be buying Polkadot like crazy to get in these soon announced parachains. They want to be a part of it. They've seen that it worked on Kusama. So not only is that going to drive the value up, and let me remind you, I'm not a financial advisor. So before you invest in cryptocurrency or really anything, make sure that you seek the help of a professional. So people are going to be buying Polkadot so that they can lock them up to have a chance to get these parachain auction tokens that should drive the price up. And at the same time, what if you have the opportunity to make a quick $50,000 or more just based off of getting into the right parachain. It's such a win-win. You don't even have to give up the original tokens. You get them back. Karura was another one that was on the Kusama parachain auction. And with that one, it was 48 weeks. You get your Kusama back. So it'll be back into your hands in 48 weeks from 
the parachain auction. So you really want to pay attention to these parachain auctions and the announcement that should be coming soon. You do not want to miss that. With the sixth reason, we have the network effect. We always talk about Ethereum and the network effect that it has, and it's going to maintain that network effect. Now, a lot of people don't like Ethereum because of how expensive it is and how high the fees are. A lot of people don't like Facebook either, but guess what? They use it. So people are going to continue to use Ethereum, and I truly do believe that in time, 2.0 2.0 will happen, and the scalability issues will be resolved. But we have to remember, there are other opportunities for other blockchains. So like I mentioned, how Facebook may be the largest social media site, if you will, doesn't mean that there wasn't room for Instagram, doesn't mean there wasn't room for Twitter. So the same thing. When it comes to Polkadot, over time, they've been trusted. That also means institutional investors who are pouring money into Polkadot as we speak, and they will continue to do so. And you should remember that institutional investors are not as hasty as retail investors, so it should, over time, steady the price. And we're starting to see that more and more as time goes on. And for the number seven reason, the history. The first thing you should do when you get into cryptocurrency is go back and study the charts. And when I say study it, I'm just simply saying, Look at the ups and downs, the ebbs and flows. Look at the price history of different cryptocurrencies. A lot of times people come into the space, you tell them about the possibilities, and they say there's no way. And the thing is, is there's 40 examples of where it's already happened. The reason why they don't see it that way is because they haven't studied the charts. That's why I started off with explaining about Ethereum and how Ethereum had done a 45x from the low of 2020 to the highs of 2021 and actually over a 45x so study the history and the history would suggest that polka dot right it needs a 30 to 33x roughly from the price point we're at right now to hit a thousand dollars and i understand that market cap is different from ethereum it's not ethereum it's different but i can tell you 33x in this space isn't all that out of the ordinary. A thousand dollar polka dot is going to happen. When will it happen? If this bull run fully fires back up and we see similar price action like we've seen in the past, I truly do believe if Bitcoin reaches that high and gets into that six figure territory, like many expect, we can see polka dot hit somewhere in between. $300 $300 and $500 during the remainder of this bull run. That's not $1,000. No, it's not. But that is amazing gains. So when will Polkadot reach $1,000? Now, could it do it the remainder of this bull run? Of course, it's possible. I don't think it's likely, though. What is likely is that it reaches it in the next cycle or within the next five years. So even if it is five years, If you think about it, if we maintain the traditional cycle, we should be able to see Polkadot within the next five years reach $1,000 because think about it. If it does reach $300 this time, that would be that low of what I just mentioned, then we're only looking at about a 3.3x in the next cycle to be able to hit $1,000. And it can go even higher. Make sure you pay attention to the parachain auctions that are coming very soon. I'm waiting on the announcement for exactly when they are going to happen. At the end of the day, it's going to take a level of patience to get there. A lot of people may not want to wait for five years, but in the grand scheme of things, where else can you get those types of gains in such a short amount of time? And honestly, when it comes to investing, those who are patient are rewarded. It's that simple. $1,000 $1,000 polka dot is going to happen. Let me know in the comment section, do you think polka dot can reach $1,000? And if you do, when will it happen? And if you don't believe that it'll ever reach $1,000, also let me know in the comments why you don't think so. Thanks for tuning in to Perry Unlikely. If you got anything from this video today, make sure to hit the like button. Also, 
If you want to get more of the content that I'm posting, make sure to hit the bell for notification. And that's how YouTube will let you know that my new content is dropping. Also, if you want to rock with the channel, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching the content today, and I'll see you next time.